guys, it's Pastor Jesse. Um, I'm the young adult pastor at Azure Hills. And uh, today I wanted to share a little bit of just um, how I developed this, my relationship with Jesus. And it really started, I think, when my parents um, first gave me um, my Bible. <laughs> and I say this because in the middle of the night, even though I was involved in adventures and pathfinders and would do song service, I would still kind of get nightmares and get really scared. And so I will call out and I will say, Papi, and my dad will come and he would pray with me and um, I would get this sense of comfort. And so when I got my first Bible, my parents sat me down and they said, okay, Jesse, we know that you call out on um, Papi or on Mommy, but now in order to grow in Christ, um, when you are scared, you should call on Jesus. And so they told me whenever I'm afraid at night to hug the Bible. And I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just start hugging my Bible. And I used to do that. And sometimes I was super terrified and I would cry and I would pray and I would just hug my Bible. You know, this, um, this idea that whenever we're afraid we have the privilege of calling on God is um, so, so dear to my heart because Jesus himself in John chapter 10, he says that I am the good shepherd, which for me means that he's always gonna have our back. He's always there to protect us. Um, he says that the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. You know, he's not someone that's hired, right? That if a wolf comes and attacks, that they're just gonna bounce and just take the money. No, the good shepherd is the one that comes that protects us from the wolves that wanna attack. And what Jesus continues to say in that chapter, in John chapter 10, is that the sheep, you and I, it says that the sheep knows the good shepherd's voice. That whenever the good shepherd calls, the sheep follow. And the sheep follow into this promise of eternal life. And so with this idea of calling, with this idea of having God um, that we can call on, my question for you guys today is one, if God calls, would you recognize his voice? The first question again is, if God calls, would you recognize his voice? Question number two, when God is calling, where is God leading you into? What are the things that God is leading you into? And the third question is, and this one might be a little more difficult because uh, there are some things that we may not want to do, but in knowing God's voice, what are the things that God is calling you out of? What are the things that God is calling you out of? I hope that um, you can take some time and go over John chapter 10. Um, I love this chapter because again, um, whenever I feel discouraged, whenever I'm scared, whenever I find myself across a challenge, I can go to God who is my good shepherd and I know that he will protect me. And I know that if he protects me and wherever he calls, I can go and follow him into eternal life.